Hello, everybody. This is Pahamar. And this is Direwolf20. And together we bring you Crash Landing. Ding, ding, dun, ding. dun, dun. Episode so 24. Remember... Yeah, episode 24. Remember Pahamar when we started this map and we were like, we don't have anything. Now we have all the things. Now we pretty much have all the things. Except for oats. Oats seem to be a hard thing to get. Oats are not a hard thing to get. Oats are an impossible thing to get. Let me show you the gold chest I have full of different seeds. None of them. See, I'm looking for an oats seed, apparently, and I don't have one. I have like four or five of every other type of seed. I have one sweet potato seed. So I don't know like what the chances of getting oats are compared to other things when you use a mattock or a hoe on grass blocks, but holy cow. Like, Let's not get crazy. I'm I'm starting to question whether it's for real, right? Oh, good. I got haste on my mattock because that's going to help me. Let's see. Well, while you were playing with that stuff. Yeah, I've, I've been at this for a while now, guys, off camera. And I'm like about to give up and be like, no horses for Pahamar. But we need horses. No horses for Pahamar. We need horses. Why? What are horses going to do for us? Their that quests? Death can. Nuts to the quests. I'm no longer about quests on this map. Okay, well then. I've this got is... garlic. Would you like garlic or rutabagas? That's a very strange dinner combination. Well, you know. Oh, I'm starting to get the slowness buff because I'm starving. Well, you should eat. So, what were you working on, Pahamar? You were working on something you said? Yeah, I got us the um, Ocelot quest hand in. Oh, wow. That was cool. So, same kind of concept, like a bunch of mob. Essence goo and... Yeah, not too much. 20 buckets of mob essence and four fish. That's not terrible. Fish are easy. We have tons of fish laying around all over the place. So I'm going to see if I oats! can... Oats! I got oats. Nice. I've got oats. Come to me, my oats. I... We have a cat. I don't care about cats. I care about oats. Because I have oats. It took me like an hour... Listen, as Dire Wolf How many sings. oats do you need? How many? Uh, four. I have 14. Very nice. Oh, I you have 14 sir, oats. are a winner. That took a long time. You guys, like, my joy at finding oats. Holy cow. Totally warranted. All right, Pahamar. Hey, I see we have a cat. I told you we have a cat. Did you tame him? I did. Why are you hammering things? Because I'm cleaning up our dusts. Oh, I guess it does have fortune on it. Yep. Um, so do you want me to mark that quest? Where do you have the QDM thing? There Down it is. here. So I'll mark this with the quest. So let's see. Uh, creating life. One quest. Ocelot completed. Claim reward. Uh, wolf, villagers, villagers we completed, wolf we need to do, and horse we need to do. Is that it for this one? Uh, I believe so. So horse, we're going to need a bunch of mob essence, but for wolf, all we need is two raw beef. Oh, okay. Uh, so into the strong box go my four oats. Hooray! And we need four leather. Which we have now. Now I know of. we have like stacks of, so I'm not worried about that. We have four stacks of leather. We might actually have more if you were to look into the chest where the furnace outputs. Yeah. So then 40 buckets of mob essence. So that'll probably take a while. Probably. Because I don't think we quite yet have... Well, I've got two millibuckets. I'm going to turn that off for the time being. Um, wow, that's a lot of stuff that you're doing. Yeah, well, the auto-packager, the energy cell behind it was dead. 
Oh, okay. So we had lots of dust and gravel and stuff that we weren't getting. Yep, I figure this is just a faster way of processing it. All right. Just keep in mind we do have those pulverizers and such if you decide you wanted that. Oh, yeah, there's oh. those. Well, I figured the fortune oh, yeah. thing. Plus, I haven't yeah. done this yet, so. Fortune's cool. Fortune works. All right, so uh, that's pretty much set. What do we need for the wolf quest, you said? Just, two oh, raw wow, beef. we just need two raw beef. That's it, and we're done. Yeah, so, but I didn't like, know if we wanted to stuff. breed uh, some more cows. Since now you have wheat. Um, I do have wheat. You are correct, sir. Well, I have seeds. So That's I can get, get wheat, wheat and breed cows. I hear an Enderman. He's outside. Would you stop bringing them here? I'm not bringing nothing. Dude, Endermen follow you like... Endermen follow you. They do. What's your point? You need to stop with this war with the Endermen. Hey, they started it, and I'm going to finish it. How long have you been warring with them? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's on the order of years now. Possibly. I'm just saying, it's a senseless war where everyone dies. Right. Okay, well, fair enough. All right, hopefully this does that. So I think when I'm bored with this, I might go check out the original city some more. I wonder if there's some more energy cells there. Cool. I'm going to specify plants. I'm going to plant seeds instead of potatoes because I feel like we have plenty of potatoes. That should take care of things nicely for us. And a little bit of bone meal to make things a little bit easier. We have plenty of oats now. Nice. Dude, there's a lot of stuff in Pam's Harvest Craft. I'm just putting that out there. Yeah, it's almost like she went a little nuts with the different crops and whatnot. Not that I'm complaining, but there's a lot of stuff. Can you imagine having to make a texture for all that stuff? I know. Like, I'm a coder. I'm not an artist, so... Like, people who do art and music and stuff just completely baffle me. Like, they're just right. a degree of awesome I can't comprehend. No, you're 100% correct, sir. So, viewers out there, if you are an artist or a musician or something, Direwolf and I cannot understand the wonder that you do, and we're incredibly thankful that you exist. Yeah, I cannot art. All right, cows are breeding. We'll give them some privacy. Too late. I should probably not kill these guys with my frying pan that sets them on fire. Good call. Yeah, because then I wouldn't get raw beef, would I? That direwolf's a thinker. It's what I've been known to do. Enderman again. There was a blue one here, too. I've got three raw beef. I'm going to select the wolf quest, and look at me, I'm handing him one of the creating life quests, because Pahamar did most of them, so I feel like I should do a little bit of work now and again. Thank you. Hooray, the wolf quest is complete. I think is it's it... appropriate that I did the wolf quest, right? I was about to say, is it a little ironic that it was the dire wolf that did the wolf quest? Probably. So we've got two buckets of uh, that stuff. What's taking our mob farm so long? Come on, mob farm. Let's go. Make with the mobs and the killing of them. Yes. Rain mobs, please. Crazy amounts of mob essence. Uh, what do we got left here, then? So if we took a look. Pahmar is filling the base with animals. 
wouldn't you? Probably. So why does this one say 66% completed? I guess because some of them can be repeated if we want. Um, yeah, I think Unless so. Unless maybe after we do horse, more unlock? No, I think it's that there's... Yes. Cooldown on completion. Yeah, no, wow, everything's the on one's cooldown, already so. gone off cooldown? I don't think so. They all look like they're on cooldown still. Hmm, maybe something's up. I don't know. I blame Pahamar. I blame you. Oh, wow. We get Essence Berry Bushes for doing this quest that we're about to do? That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool, actually. I could automate some experience gathering. Not that we're, like, terribly desperate for experience, but... Also, I have an idea on a way to automate the camel pack, but it might crash the server. <sighs> that was so I'm thinking we hold that. off on that and maybe test it later. I'm a fan of that. That's kind of the plan. Um, so I think what I have next to do is start working on some crafting. So can I do a little bit of crafting off camera, Pahimar, and then we can unlock this pink bucket and see what's involved there? I'm cool with that. I might go, like I said, I'll fly over to the city and do some poking around. Okay. We'll be back in a minute, guys. Mr. Direwolf. Yes, Mr. Pahimar, what can I do for you, sir? Just checking in on you. You know, I'm doing being, lots of crafting. being friendly and stuff. I'm just so letting left is the slaughterhouse. Which I need two Invar swords and two Invar axes. Which shouldn't be too hard. So I haven't found a redstone um, energy cell or anything. You have not? I have not, but I found a lot of Nomadicraft like. Uh, capacitors and transistors and stuff. Sounds cool. Yeah, I figured it would save you a little bit of crafting. I would never turn down saving me a little bit of crafting. Though, I think a lot of that stuff I have auto-crafting right now. But, that's fine, because uh, the more we have of that, the better. It's just a nuisance to make, typically. I'll agree to that. Have I checked that one? Okay, that and this and this gives us a slaughterhouse and leftovers mission complete. Enderman nice. in the base. Oh, it's the Mirage Enderman. Why would you why would you let him in? Hey, all the Endermen that have been visiting have been your friends so far, so I don't even want to hear about me letting anybody in. I didn't let anybody in this base. You're the hey, one inviting me. One of them was over. a friend of mine. Yeah, and then you killed your friend, and now all the Endermen are like, hey, why'd you kill Paul? Paul was a bit of a jerk. Paul was a very large bit of a jerk. Now they're after me. I am not loving... And I have blazes there. on me. You have blazes, like, attacking you, or they're... Yep. What? yep. I'm hiding under a two-block tall thing because I don't want Mirage Endermen after me. So I guess while I'm at this point, uh, let's look in our quest book and see what kind of goodies I got. I got four safari nets, some soul sand, and some essence berry bushes. So I can pick one of those, huh? Well, I feel like I feel like one of us should do essence berry bushes, and the other one should be doing the the. I don't know what would be in the safari nets though, right? There wouldn't be anything really exciting in there, do you think? There could be. It could be. I'll do essence berry bushes and you do safari nuts. How's that sound? Of course, you know, when you get back here, that is. Because Bahamar's like, I want to go adventure and die us more. The good news is that we opened up, oh, MFR liquids. So remember we were like, hey, I wonder if we need pink slime or meat. We need it all. <laughs> We need pink slime, meat, sludge, and sewage. Well, the good news is sludge should not be hard. We only need uh, 10,000 millibuckets of sludge. So I think what I'm going to do... Actually, you know what? I'll leave this one here. It's the larger one that I'll break. 
Remember, if you break these with a pick, they empty. So we have like a barrel of water, so I'm not going to worry about that. But what I will do is try and get this sludge. I may have looted the city as much as I need to this time. Oh, I'm sure. Not. Hey, it's hard to pass up the opportunity for cool stuff. I'm sure it is. You yourself are a connoisseur of cool and stuff. Yeah. I am. I'm a connoisseur of cool stuff that functions well. Not cool stuff that makes me die on the way to getting it. Didn't even need that. Okay, cool. So I'm, uh, I'm getting us some sludge. So that's step one in the process of getting sludge. Uh, pink slime is probably going to be a little difficult to get but not Whoa. terrible, and meat shouldn't be too terrible to get either. So these two should actually be pretty easy. Sewage, uh, I can get a sewage. Sewage should not be a problem because I just made sewers. Do you know how to get sewage? I vaguely remember doing sewage before. Yeah. Um, it's not a glamorous quest, that's for sure. Um, we also want our slaughterhouse here. So we're probably going to want our breeder set up. Um, you know, we, we made all the machines that we need to do stuff with chronotyper. Um, we might want to, what happened to you? Do you need food? No, I'm fine. I'm regenning. You sure? Yep. Okay. That's Bahamar. He does things that are you dangerous. Do things. Yeah. I'm working on getting us the things that we need for the stuff. Oh, Darwell Tony, always talking in riddles. Well, you know how it is. So what I'm thinking we should do, Pahamar, is set up a slightly larger pen out there for the animals what do you think we could do that yeah where's that um hammer there it is precision sledgehammer i definitely want this guy i managed to get us another charging some station some assembly io units and another kinetic, uh, kinetic compressor do what now i managed to get us some more pneumatic craft stuff so a charging oh, station a kinetic compressor and some assembly IO units. Cool. Um, do you mind if I rearrange your farm just a little bit? Go for it. All right, first question is chronotyper. What kind of range does it have on it? Okay, so that's basically what we want to be as our fence. So you know what I'm gonna do? So I'm gonna build this over here. Cool, and I'll build it to the specifications of what the chronotyper already does for us. So let me get a bunch of fences. What if I got told you I got you a bunch of compressed iron ingots as well? Not excited. What if I got you tickets to the World Series? Not excited. Does anyone at home want to go to the World Series with me? Have you ever heard me like talk about or mention sports in any way? All the time. Yeah, I guess you're right. Big sports fan. Like, ridiculous guys. You don't even understand. Direwolf20 totally wants to be on your Fantasy League team. Yes, because I know how fantasy football works. Alright, so the chronotyper, we will spit out creatures like so. So let's do this. If this guy is, yeah. So what we'll do is I'll put like a fence here, right? See, so he'll be able to grab from this whole area, right? Um, the only catch that you want to do is make sure not to forget to do something like this, because otherwise they can get on top there. And that's never fun. So what we'll do is we'll put our um, cows in here, Pahamar, and we'll set this chronotyper to move babies, correct? 
Um, and then they will go into a pen similar to this. So this is a one, well, from the thing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we put the slaughterhouse here-ish. That should be perfect, right? So the slaughterhouse will not affect this area, but it will affect this area. See what I'm talking about? I would if I was looking. Well, maybe you should look. Hi, Mar. And this guy will take care of that. So then the only other thing we need is a breeder. And this will face this way over here. The breeder should affect this whole area. I'm pretty sure they'll have the same size and such. So this actually should work. Yes, that's what I want, right? So chronotyper facing this way, the slaughterhouse facing this way. Why is it raining fiery arrows? Hi, Mar. That's the question I have for you, sir. Um, uh, nothing. Nothing Ooh, is not the answer. Bat. I'm trying these safari that's nets. Safari. That's, a cow. that's a cow. Oh, you're checking them out. Okay, cool. Yeah, because the texture changes so often, so I'm just trying to... That's I'm assuming that it's just like a random whatever, right? Okay, I got two cows and a sheep and a bat. That was not exciting at all. If you want, you can put the two cows in the area of the fencing that has two machines in it. If that makes sense to you. Uh, I just need to find these safari nets. Cool. I need some hardened energy conduits and some probably more leadstone energy conduits. So let's get some Invar. I'll get like 15 of those, a bunch of redstone. I've got some glass on me. I'll need some lead. Pahamar does the same thing that Zorin does. I want you to know that, Pahamar. What's that? You turn all of our iron or metals into blocks instead of leaving a handful that are available for actual use. So I I just felt you would want to know that you and Soren have something in common. And you have something in common with us. With who? Soren and I. Oh, and what's that? I don't know where I was going with that. I I don't either. All right, if I remember correctly, sewers do not require power, right? They do not. Correct, so they right. do not. But they do actually require some upgrades if we want them to have a longer radius or range around them. So that's funny. When I place them and then break them or, like, pick them up, they have different metadata values. Super helpful. Yep, now they're all different. <laughs> Not helping at all. Good oh, well, job. That's fine. Um, I really only need two of them, I'm going to say. And I'm figuring what we'll breed is cows. Does that sound good to you? Sure, why not? Okay. Speaking of cows. Where's my foods chest? Mmm, hamburger and cheeseburger. Um, would you be so kind, Mr. Pahamar, to make me, let's say, a copper upgrade? Do you know how to make those? Uh, I'm sure any eye will tell me. 
Yeah, you can use raw plastic, which we should have a ton of in the basement in one of the chests down there. Okay, I'm just getting some alumite. Cool. Should be like three raw plastic, three copper, and three um, gold nuggets, I think. And if you would be super kind to make me um, two of those, that should be good. So we'll do hardened energy conduits. One thing I totally miss is bat mode. Bat mode? Like, from Morph? Yeah. Like, I guess, I get that it would be, like, cheaty to have creative mode flight for free, but I love being able to, like, shrink down really small to get into small areas and do stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, kind of. I, I kind of don't want to be short all the time. Right. Not all the time, but it's handy when you want to, like, do stuff. And can you also bring me a relatively fully charged redstone energy cell if you're not busy? If you are, I'll get it in a minute. I'm beginning to lose track of the stuff you want me to do for you. I know, because there's so many things. Well, maybe I'm doing my own thing. Alright, fine, you do your own thing, I'll get my own redstone energy cell, it's cool, I understand, I see how it is. Whoa. Did you start on the copper upgrades or not yet? Because I can make them very quickly if you haven't yet. I'm just getting to them now, I was busy making a horse. I see. So if I don't you're making see where those, our plastic is, though. Uh, it should be in that chest over there, raw plastic in the iron chest. Yeah, raw plastic. Oh, the raw thing pl that looks like a pile of dust. Yeah, sorry, I was thinking it was the uh, nematocraft plastic. It's all good, buddy. It's all good and hood. Yep, you're good. So what this should get us, in theory... You know what else I want is wheat. We should have some extra up right by now. Well, we have six. So that's a good starting point. I probably should have done this... I could do this with pigs as well. We have two pigs, don't we? Yes, we do. I have your copper upgrade. Sweet. Two of them you made, right? Nope. Okay. I have one spawn pig egg. Do you have another one, or is it already spawned out there? It's already out there. Okay. Do you have a safari net? I do. Okay. Uh, just move one pig into the pen that has the two cows right now, and I'll get some carrots. There's a creeper in our base. Use the cat. It's, it's an ender creeper. The ender creeper is not afraid of cats. Uh, I have I your want, upgrades, but I, I want this to be known, and it just Ender teleported away. The Ender Creeper is a cheat. It's in the basement. I killed it. I got a Creeper head and some Ender Pearls. Wow, you actually did something. 
I, I'm almost more surprised than you are. I figured whenever you saw scary creatures, you just ran. Typically, that's 100% what I do. All right, so you brought a pig over there for me? The pig is in the pen. Sweet. Where do you want your copper upgrades? Uh, nowhere yet. So this guy goes in here along with these guys. Oh, thank you, sir. Um, and then the redstone energy cell should go here. With power output to the down. And oh, look at that. It's working. The pigs are doing the thing. The cows are doing their thing. The moving babies thing should go. Nice. And then once those guys mature, we'll have, um, you know, some slaughterhouse action. That should get us uh, two out of the four liquids that we need. Oh, so the wow, only thing there's we have armor. left to get is sewage. Um, if you want to move two or four more cows into that pen, that'll just speed things up. We just need to get more wheat, which I can bone meal in a bit. Um, let's see. I'm going to put on my jetpack for a minute because I'm going to need flight here momentarily. I believe the way I want this to work is sewer here with a thingy there and then I'm guessing that's right Are you... yeah we're getting sewage we get mob essence for this what how are we getting mob essence from sewage I don't know I don't remember the sewers giving mob essence but now that I'm thinking about it I think I've heard people say that they do sometimes or something I don't know the details but Okay, well, I did the iron armor, gold armor, and diamond armor quests. Sweet. So creating life is done. Nice. Uh, we are getting tons of sewage at this point. I think right now we just kind of need to wait for um, some animals to grow up, basically. Do you want to come back in a few minutes? Sure. All right, Pahamara, so I've got... A full tank of sludge here, which is 16,000 millibuckets, and we only need 10,000 of each of these liquids. So the sludge we'll consider done. I'm going to make um, a couple more tanks here, and we can start storing stuff like uh, the pink slime and the meat. That's probably going to take a little while to get. I'm going to bone meal some more wheat for us um, so that we have you know, a bunch of that, and I can get that going. Because we have, obviously, more cows than pigs right now. Yep. Um. And then I think we'll come back next episode, and we might be pretty close to wrapping up this season. What, what, Slash series. What? Yeah. I mean, do we have any more quests besides what we're working on right now? That's it. I believe the only quest we are waiting on, because Basic Survival's got that one that's uncompletable, the important information. Right. right. So all we have left is the one quest in Technological Revolution for MFR Liquids. Which is what I'm working on right now. Yeah, so we have unlocked 70 quests. We've completed 68. Two are available for completion. Sweet. I should complete the uh, cow one that you did for me. All quests are now complete in creating life. That's cool. There's Oh, there's f oh that's why. There's four quests that opened up. Yeah, and they should all be complete. Right. Iron, gold, and copper armor. That's neat. I told you there had to be something that opened up after the fact, right? Yep, you did. I called it. There's another weird Enderman out here. It's I don't even want to look at him to find out what he is, but he's scary looking. Um, so yeah, we should have all the liquids we need pretty soon. I think we're done with... Well, no, we're not done with sewage. I'm going to have to set up a pipe for sewage. Maybe next episode I'll come back, run fluid ducts for sewage into a tank. I'm going to make a couple tanks off camera, and then we'll... We'll kind of wrap this up at the end of next episode, I think. That sounds good. Cool. All right, buddy. So for now, Daryl20 and Pahamar signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll be back next time, probably wrapping up the season, I think. Ooh. I know. A little sad. Yeah, 25 episodes. 
Hey, that's a good number to wrap up on, I think. That is. It's almost as good as wrapping up on episode 20. Maybe. Whoa. Almost. Not quite. Paul. Oh, whoa. Mm, this is not a good time. What'd you do? We got, we got company. Paul's back. What? Yeah. Let's deal with them next time. All right, guys. Take it easy. See you guys.